Hello everybody, this is our weekly update for Wednesday, April 22nd. As most of you probably have, have heard, uh, the governor of Texas has closed schools till the end of the year. Now that doesn't mean that school is closed, that just means the physical building is closed. Uh, the governor and the commissioner have been very gracious to suspend stuff like um, EOC and STAR testing and things of that nature and have allowed us to provide instruction remotely. Now that's a good thing in that we are able to complete the year prior to um, and not having to make these days up in the summer. But that does mean that we do have to get certain things done. They've allowed us some freedom there and allowed us to reduce the amount of, of work that, that's required, but we still have to have certain things done in order to, to get the year completed so that we can make sure everybody gets their credits and everybody gets to move on to the next grade level. Since we, we not, know, know now that we're not coming back this year to the to the physical building with students what our teachers are going to start doing next week is they'll begin sending out kind of everything that needs to be done by the end of school and we don't want that to overwhelm you we've got plenty of time between now and may 22nd to get that if you need any help in there reach out let us know we're happy to provide that um, to make sure everybody can get what they need if for some reason we run in and we don't quite get it all done by the 22nd then we'll put an incomplete down and we'll get that done we can continue that into june but it is imperative that everybody get that certain bare minimum done in order for us to, to be able to close out the year and, and grant credit and, and, and move people on to the next grade. Um, like I say, it's, it's, we're not gonna try and send out enough to overwhelm everybody, but we do have to send out enough in order to meet the demands of what's expected of us by, by the state of Texas in order to complete this year. Uh, that being said, you know, coming up for, the, for our biggest uh, thing we have coming usually at, towards the end of the year is graduation for our seniors. And, and I know our seniors, unfortunately, are missing out on a great deal of, of, of opportunities that, and, and great memories that they usually had. And we're gonna do everything we can to try and provide some of that back. Um, but doing that between now and the end of school is, is kind of hard. Um, what we are planning is in May, we do plan to have some drop off, uh, pick up kind of car parades to come through to allow kids to see their teachers and allow them to drop off any library books or calculators, anything they have, and then allow for teachers to give them back their school supplies or anything anything they have left in the room. And that'll be coming in May. We'll have more details, and we'll probably do that by campus in order to uh, to meet the needs of uh, and the accommodations of all of our social distancing that we have to do. But we'll have some more details coming along that line. So don't worry about if you have books or, or things are going to need to be turned in. We'll, we'll worry about that in May. Um, but as far as our seniors and getting them, We'll probably have one day for our seniors and we'll try and have some, some other special things to be able to provide for them and get, get to them at that time. Uh, graduation's gonna be real difficult to have on May 22nd because we're closed all the way through then. What we're thinking right now, and, and we would appreciate any feedback you might have from you senior parents and, and you senior students, is moving it to the 27th of June. By that time, we figure we'll have a little more relaxation of some of the social distancing We'll still be able to provide it in, in a very safe manner, but um, it'll be as close to traditional as we can get with maybe not quite the, the crowds we normally have, but we, we've got some ideas there and, and more of that would be finalized as we got closer, but I think that's a real possible date in order to have a, a more face-to-face -face graduation and, and allow our students to be able to come up and, and get their diplomas, you know, with, with their, their closest loved ones there to watch them. Um, Think about that. We'd like to probably do that maybe in the mornings, what we're thinking when it's still kind of cool, and then maybe have some form of a prom that evening. Uh, we don't know what we're gonna be able to put everybody in a room and have a dance at that time, but I think there's some other things that we can do that um, would still meet the needs of the social distancing and allow our students to have that experience, and we wanna try and provide that. So think about that and, and feel free to email me or, or text me any of your feedback on that. Um, Last couple things, we got packet pickup for primary and birch. It's usually on Wednesday because of the rain. We're gonna move that to tomorrow. So it's five to, to six for birch tomorrow and four to six for the primary. Um, still can pick up at the other campuses as you normally have. Uh, like I say, don't get stressed out about the amount of work. Um, we, we got plenty of time to get it done and there's plenty of people out here to, to be willing to help uh, you get through that. Um, it gets a little frustrating sometimes, I understand, because teaching is not what you do for a living. That, that's our job, but the social distancing has kind of forced you into that role. But we are here to help. Don't, be, don't hesitate to give us a, a call or an email, and let's reach out and, and help you with your students. Anyway, hope everybody has a great week, and stay safe.